What's going on, world? How you guys doing? Your Desert Advisor back again. Kind of do recap of a lot of different news and things going on with Iraq as it relates to different investors, different companies, different countries, different leaders coming together and what kind of developments are happening. So let's jump into it. So if you're paying attention, you probably realize Iraq is still 0 0.006 as an exchange rate compared to the dollar and all the other countries. So they need a strong economic reform they need a strong foundation when it comes to their economy and how's that going to happen well first off they need to make sure that they make the right connections so who are they talking to we've seen that al Qazimi's government signs the two largest contracts that will put iraq in the category of the largest energy sources in the middle east we talked about this on the last video with the french company total and there's a few other companies that are interested in doing with their energy resources in iraq for investments we also seen that this guy stopped by, in case you can't read what that says, me neither. So thank goodness for translations. So Italian ambassador to Iraq, Bruno Antonio, revealed a package of new economic and investment projects that Italian companies will implement in Iraq. In a statement to the National Iraq News Agency, Antonio said, we're currently working with the Iraqi Ministry of Transport to reach the implementation of two railroad projects and the international highway to, from Fahd to Turkey, noting that after Pope Francis' visit to the historical city of Ur, we will, by linking this project, to be a route for tourists from Europe to Iraq. He added, we have other engineering companies working in the provinces of Dakar and Basra, and they're currently training hundreds of Iraqi engineers and technicians to work on the ground, noting that working in the Mosul Dam is a wonderful example of joint cooperation between Iraq and Italy, where we worked for three and a half years, and now the Iraqis are the ones doing the actual work inside the dam. So that's cool. Iraq, they're getting trained by Italy and their engineers. Other articles we've seen coming out. This is probably the longest one, but it talks about the budget, talking about the 2021-2022 budget. Pause it here for a second and go ahead and read through it. I'm going to summarize it on the next one. Okay, so at the very bottom here of this page, the very bottom paragraph, it was expected the price of barrel of oil in 2022 budget would be around $50 and OPEC would be around, would add 450 thousand barrels to Iraq production despite the slight rise improvement in 2020 budget citizens since slight rise in food prices as well as Iraqi farmers exploitation of the product so on and so forth so basically they're talking about the budget talking about implementing 2022 budget and the white papers and the economic reform getting help and support from the IMF and the World Bank nothing new we've talked about that for the last couple videos no need to go through it but you can read it if you want however the budget incorporates fifty dollars a barrel this guy comes out, who's this guy? The oil minister, his name, said that the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and its allies will try to keep oil prices at $70 per barrel in the first quarter of 2022. So instead of 50, they're gonna get $70 a barrel. Press statement, minister expect groups commitment, production agreed when it meets October, price and stable. Pointed out Iraq's total oil exports, including exports of the Kurdistan region, are expected to reach an average of 3.4 million barrels per day in September. So, they're doing 3.4 million a day. However, they're getting 70 when they only were allocating 50 in their budget. Well, that's going to be $68 million a day in surplus for oil, or that's $2 billion a month in, in oil surplus. That's pretty good. Now, it also relates to this article. For the first time since 2019, there is talk of a no deficit financial surplus in Iraq. I wonder why. So this news, parliamentary announced Monday that salaries of employees will be secured for the current year while indicated that there is a surplus in the current budget. First time that a competent executive or legislative body has talked about the existence of financial abundance, not a budget deficit. Current budget approved a deficit estimated at 28 trillion dinars. No more deficit. That 28 trillion dinars is gone. Wow. That's pretty cool. Then there's a little op-ed with this one. This is a doctor. And he pretty much talks, I'll let you read it. So, expert in economic affairs, doctor, this guy stated there are two levels of financial liberalization. The first of which, the local level, which aims to ease control by using indirect quantitative tools for monetary policy instead of direct qualitative tools that impede the processes of financial liberalization. Dr. al Taqwani added, as for the second level of financial liberalization, it is the international level. And here the financial liberalization operations aim to abolish exchange controls by adopting a variable exchange rate determined according to the market mechanism and the money moves from the markets to the markets due to the liberalization of capital transactions, thus increasing the possibility of residents owning real assets in foreign monetary finance. So he was talking about a local and an international 
different financial liberalizations. Interesting read. Check it out. This article comes out, and they're talking about crypto. Not specifically, but more indirectly. With regard to the issue of digital transformation, digital trans tra transactions, digital transformation, that's cryptocurrency, y'all. That's exact digital wallets, e-commerce, it's digital. The governor of the central bank confirmed that the bank is working on developing technical infrastructure and cybersecurity automated services and setting and opening electronic wallets. Electronic wallets are like a USB drive, uh, different things like that in order to store your passwords or your, your wallet, your funds. So they're talking about infrastructure and some digital transformation in their monetary reform. Phosphate. Now, phosphate, this has been around for 10 plus years. If you know anything about Iraq and phosphate, they have, I think, the 10th, 10% uh, of the world's phosphate in Iraq alone. Huge amounts of it. But this just came out a few days ago, three days ago. This comes out. What are they talking about? 7 billion weighted tons and 2 billion is confirmed, right? So 7 billion weighted tons, 2 billion confirmed phosphate rocks in western Iraq are waiting for investment. Yeah. The middle part here, you see phosphate deposits of Iraq. That's an 18-page PDF file. Talks about the research, ge geological survey, all this different stuff. It's pretty awesome. It says they have 9.5 billion metric tons. Well, how much is one metric ton worth, right? So you look at the bottom here. It says between 245 to 388 for a metric ton. So let's do some math. If it is around $300 for a metric ton and Iraq has 9 billion of them, that's 2.7 E plus 12 dollars. How much is that? Well, I don't know. What is E12 in math? Blah, blah, blah. Shorthand scientific notation means move the decimal 12 places to the right. If this was E negative, means to the left. For example, 1.05 E12 is 1 quadrillion and 20 trillion. So you're telling me that Iraq has two quadrillion dollars worth of phosphate in the ground. That's pretty cool. Another old article talks more about it. Iraq possesses world-class reserves of phosphate with four biggest deposits holding 5.75 billion tons, 9% of the global total, says U.S. Geological Survey. The findings give Iraq second biggest phosphate reserves in the world after Morocco. Two of these deposits in the western desert province of Abnar are big enough to rank among the largest 10% in the world. Just those two are 10% in the whole world. Continues on, blah, 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 at the very bottom basically says, describe size of phosphate deposit as fantastic, while the grade available was little below average variation, and there is a higher grade material present. Pretty cool. A lot of phosphate, and it's now being attracted for investors. Come mine it. Come get it out of the ground, y'all. We've seen that President Joe Biden and the President of Iraq, they met at the UN Council. As much as I like to see and translate, I like to read English more so. President Biden met today with the President of Iraq, Margins UN General Council in New York. Together, they discussed strengthening bilateral relationship and deepening cooperation in regional diplomatic initiatives. Biden stressed U.S. commitment to Iraq's long-term stability, and the leaders reaffirmed their respect for Iraq's democracy, rule of law, and efforts to credible. Transparent elections this October lauded recent initiatives such as Baghdad's regional summit and the historical visit of Pope Francis to Iraq earlier this year. What? They keep talking about Iraq, or the Pope, uh, anyways. And contributions to stability and interfaith tolerance. So they were talking. I wonder if they were also talking about, basically, the United States has said that they're going to get their military out. However, this was just released, uh, well, this was released a few days ago, like a week ago. The government can request the return of the U.S. forces if the security situation deteriorates after their withdrawal. So basically, military is set to depart from Iraq by the end of this year. However, if ISIS, K, or whatever pops up, then our military can go back if Iraq requests it. So Iraq is basically, they've kicked out France, their military, and our military. They've dis not discovered, but they're really seeking investors now for their phosphate, which has been going on for years, like I said, a long time. Meeting with multiple, multiple countries and different investment companies, whether it's their energy and different agriculture sector sectors, phosphate, all kinds of stuff. And their economic reform is making way as much as they're talking with the IMF, the World Bank, and everything like that with the new budget. So it's pretty interesting to see everything going on. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys do your own research. Invest in yourself. Invest in your future. Don't be dumb. We'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace.